Uh, my name's John. I'm 33 years old. Uh, I have a single ventricle heart. I had band of the arteries in 1984 when I was six months old. And I had uh, my Fontan procedure in 1989 when I was five. I'm covered from the neck down in scars. Uh, but I don't think of them as scars. I like trophies. As I, my mum used to call them, was trophies. <clears throat> my earliest memory of heart disease is gruesome. Uh, I remember waking up in, in intensive care, just, just enough to feel an itch in my left wrist. And I pulled at it and pulled at it, and scratched and scratched and scratched, and I didn't realise I was pulling my, was pulling my drip out. And I blood went squirting everywhere. That's my earliest memory of an intensive care. Yeah, I remember sports days. Sports days were like oh, hell and hell. Uh, but people, you know, people let you win and stuff. Just to just to give you a wee taste of glory. It's nice. A little bit more tired at work. I can't really do as much physically. When when we go out to you know, play on mountain bikes or whatever, um, again sort of the guy needs to help getting pushed up the hill. But they get me up there and I come down fine. I see most people lend a helping hand, nobody, nobody ever crosses their fingers and thinks they'll catch it. You know, they've always been very accommodating and helped me. Maybe in a job scene, when I was younger, I used to always go into great detail about my condition and I, it maybe would have held me back from getting selling jobs. But um, you just pushed them now until they ask you what's wrong with you. I don't think I'll live long enough to see my hopes for the future for congenital heart patients. I'd like to see people getting heart transplants where they didn't need to worry about rejection, whether it be through stem cell or the ghost heart theory, stuff like that. Oh, I'd just like to get to about 60. That's, that's my hope. I've done pretty much everything I was told not to do. Um, I've been on roller coasters. There's a big sign that says don't go on it if you have heart disease. But I go on them anyway. Uh, I participated in extreme sports where you're probably going to bleed and I shouldn't really bleed. <laughs> but uh, it can't be helped. I ride motorcycles and um, I used to like playing on mountain bikes but that's getting a little bit more difficult. I tend to have uh, a stroke or something that would stop me from being mobile, like my legs, hands, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I'd rather be really alive or really dead. You know what I mean? You know, nothing in between will do.